From the newer games that we all know and love to some titles you may not have heard of, I am bringing you a history of Fallout. Bring me a dream. Make her complexion. The Fallout world exists in an alternate timeline that diverged from the real world timeline after World War II. From this split until the Great War in 2077, a stylized representation of the 1950s American culture with more advanced technology dominated the Fallout world. The science fiction anthology Worlds of Tomorrow, released during the golden age of science fiction in the 1950s, heavily influenced this representation. The defining moment of the Fallout universe was the Great War of 2077. On October 23, 2077, the United States, China, and other nuclear-armed countries commenced a brief but rapid exchange of nuclear strikes. Although the conflict only lasted two hours, the destruction it brought was staggering and complete. More energy was released in the early moments of that war than in all previous global conflicts combined. Ninety years after the Great War, humanity survived but struggled to do so. Above ground, small bands fought over the crumbling remains of once great cities while mutants prowled the irradiated wastes. Underground, a fortunate few enjoyed the relative safety and comfort of the vaults. Some fought to keep the world out, others to connect with it and repopulate it. Wherever humanity survived, it was under constant threat by psychotic mutants, rogue machines, vicious raiders, and all other manner of hostile mutant creatures. Most of the events of the series took place in the United States. The first two games, Fallout and Fallout 2, were set in New California, the remains of the West Coast. The Master and the Enclave are the region's main threats. The third game, Fallout Tactics, took place in the Midwest, between the city of Chicago and the Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. The fourth game, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, took place in northern Texas in the town of Carbon and the ghoul city of Loss. The fifth game, Fallout 3, was set on the east coast of the United States in an area called the Capital Wasteland. This included the remains of Washington, D.C., parts of Virginia, Pittsburgh, and Maryland. The sixth game, Fallout New Vegas, took place in the Mojave Wasteland, which included parts of California, Utah, Arizona, and Nevada. Fallout 4 will be set in the Boston, Massachusetts metro area. Fallout. Developed by Interplay and its division Dragonplay and self-published on September 30th, 1997, it is the first game in the Fallout series. Fallout 1 uses the same character creation system most of us know from the later games known as Special. This is an acronym of Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. These are the seven basic attributes of every character in the game. They are used to determine the skills and perks of the given character. The game takes place in 2161, 84 years after the Great War in Southern California and begins in Vault 13. Vault 13's water chip, a computer chip responsible for the water recycling and pumping machinery, has broken. The Vault Overseer sends you out to look for a replacement. You are given the portable device called the Pip-Boy 2000 which keeps track of map making, quest objectives, and various bookkeeping aspects. And we love it, don't we? It's one of our favorite things about Fallout. You initially have 150 days, 4 to 5 months, according to the Overseer, before the vault's water supply runs out. This time limit can be extended by 100 days if you commission merchants in a place known as the Hub to send water caravans to Vault 13. This is crucial to our survival. Upon returning the chip, you are then tasked with destroying a mutant army that threatens all of humanity. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. A mutant known as the Master, previously known as Richard Gray, has begun using a pre-war genetically engineered virus called Forced Evolutionary Virus. He uses this to convert humanity into a race of super mutants and bring them together in the unity, which is his plan for the perfect world. If you do not complete both objectives within 500 game days, the mutant army discovers Vault 13 and invades it, bringing it into the game. This time limit is shortened to 400 days if Vault 13's location is divulged to the water merchants. A cutscene of mutants overrunning the vault is shown if the task to stop the mutant army has failed within this time frame, indicating that you have lost. If you agree to join the mutant army, the same cinematic is shown, indicating you have lost. 
I'm gonna take the easy way out and join the mutants. What's wrong with you? You can defeat the character known as the Master and destroy the Super Mutant's military base in either order. When both threats are eliminated, a cutscene plays in which you are automatically returned to Vault 13. There you are told that you have done great things for the Vault and all of humanity, but if you come back, everyone would want to leave the Vault, and you must leave for the good of the Vault. You are irradiated. And that's a problem. Now, you just did all that work, you saved them, and they're like, okay, man, you gotta go. Did you really win? Did you? Fallout 2. Fallout 2's gameplay is similar to the original Fallout. It is a role-playing game with turn-based combat where the player plays the game in a pseudo-isometric view. At the end of the original Fallout, the hero, you, known as the Vault Dweller, were exiled by the Vault Overseer because of prolonged exposure to the outside world. With that, the Vault Dweller and a group of willing companions traveled far north. Eventually, they started their own tribal village called Arroyo in what we know of as Oregon. In the time since the Vault Dweller's exile, a new government known as the New California Republic, also known as the NCR, has begun to unify the southern towns and is spreading to the north. Also, a mysterious new organization known as the Enclave has emerged with super sophisticated technology that even surpasses the Brotherhood of Steel. This is the first time we see a new drug known as Jet, and it has become a cancer on many towns. Its addictive properties force many to rely on the town of New Reno to keep them supplied. The game takes place in 2241, where the humble village of Arroyo has suffered the worst drought in its history. The village elder asks you, known as the Chosen One, as you are a dis direct descendant of the Vault Dweller from the first game, he asks you to perform the quest of retrieving a Garden of Eden Creation Kit, also known as the Gek. This is a device that can create thriving communities out of the post-apocalyptic wasteland and a device you should be familiar with if you've played the later Fallout games. You were given nothing more than the Vault Dweller's jumpsuit, the beloved Pip-Boy 2000 handheld device, a Vault 13 water flask, and some cash to start this quest. You eventually find Vault 13, which is the first place which possibly has a Gek, and find that it is devoid of a majority of its former human inhabitants. You return to find your village has been captured by the Enclave, a mysterious group which is revealed to be the remnants of the pre-war United States federal government and the military-industrial complex. You activate an ancient oil tanker and its autopilot, allowing you to reach the Enclave's main base on an offshore rig. It is revealed that the dwellers of Vault 13 were also captured. They were captured to be used as test subjects for the FEV, the forced evolutionary virus mentioned before, alongside a royal tribesmen and women. Vault 13 was supposed to be closed for 200 years as a part of a Vault Tech Vault experiment. This makes them perfect test subjects. The Enclave modified the forced evolutionary virus into an airborne disease designed to attack any living creatures with mutated DNA. With all genetic impurities removed, the Enclave, who remained protected from radiation, could essentially regain control of the United States of America. You free both your village Arroyo and the Vault 13 dwellers from Enclave control and destroy the Enclave's oil rig. In the ending, the inhabitants of Vault 13 and Arroyo create a new prosperous community with the help of the Gek together. Building a new community with the aid of the Garden of Eden creation kit Finding themselves hundreds of miles from their vault, the members of Vault 13 chose to join the villagers in establishing a new community, and their technical expertise, combined with the villagers' survival skills, allowed the new settlement to grow. Fallout Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel. Released on March 15, 2001, Fallout Tactics was the third game to be set in the Fallout universe and the first to not be a traditional RPG and also included a multiplayer mode. The game chronicles the adventures of a Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel initiate and their squad. Because of some minor inconsistencies with previous Fallout games, Fallout Tactics has been declared as non-canon by Bethesda Softworks, except for its pivotal points, though some elements do not contradict it and its content can be used as flavor material. According to Bethesda, the high-level events of the Fallout Tactics plot are considered canon for the Bethesda software. There is a reference to the Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3 where Scribe Rothschild states that there is a small rogue detachment of the Brotherhood of Steel in Chicago. The Brotherhood of Steel originating from the military vault is one of the inconsistencies since they were an organization formed by Mariposa military base personnel and their families. 
Fallout Tactics also used an abundance of modern weapons from the real world, diverging some with the future retro concept. Another inconsistency is the new species of death claws, known as the hairy death claws, are portrayed as capable of speech and intelligent. However, according to Fallout 2, the intelligent death claws were created by the Enclave after the events in Fallout Tactics even took place. Unlike the previous two Fallout games, which featured an individual turn-based system, and let me show you how much fucking fun that was. Yay. Combat in Fallout Tactics operates differently. This game features three modes of combat. Continuous turn-based, individual turn-based, and squad turn-based. When the game starts, the Brotherhood is trying to claim territory surrounding Chicago. By offering protection to the villages of tribals, the Brotherhood is able to draft recruits from among those tribals. You are an initiate, a new recruit to the Brotherhood, tasked to lead a squad of soldiers made up of available initiates. Raiders in the area are the first challenge to the Brotherhood's authority, so your squad is dispatched to kill the bandit leaders and mop up the bandit threat. As the campaign against the Raiders succeeds in dispersing them into the wasteland, you become accepted fully into the Brotherhood and learn the eventual goal of the Brotherhood, a campaign west across the Great Plains towards the Rocky Mountains in search of Vault Zero, the one-time nucleus and command center of the pre-war Vault Network, where most senior government, scientific, and military leaders were housed and the highest technology available was maintained. Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel. Though having a similar subtitle to Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel, they are not the same game. This game was released on January 13th, 2004. It was the fourth video game to be set in the Fallout universe and the first to be made for video game consoles, the Xbox, and the PlayStation 2. Again, because of numerous inconsistencies with previous Fallout games, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel has also been declared as non-canon by Bethesda Softworks. You can find a list of the inconsistencies by visiting this website here. Pretty good website. It's where I got a lot of my information from. The game takes place in Carbon, Texas in the year 2208. The player chooses to control one of three initial characters, Cain, Cyrus, or Nadia, all of whom have pledged their services to the Brotherhood of Steel. This game is broken into three chapters, and during the first chapter, Brotherhood members have gone missing in Carbon, and you are tasked with searching for the Paladins. With the help of the Vault Dweller, who is your character in Fallout 1, you head to the city of Loss, searching for mutants. The search leads to the Church of Loss, which is a cult based inside the city. The Brotherhood Paladin Rhombus asks you to kill the cult leader Blake. You fight, and after recovering a key from the dead cult leader, you escort Rhombus to a truck where he had hidden the key. When he tries to recover the key, it's guarded by kamikaze ghouls. You, warned of the danger, kill all them sons of bitches. Rhombus, who is totally fucked, gives you the key card and trusts you with the task of stopping the super mutants. You ask the lost ghouls for information, and one of them tells you about a warehouse and a secret vault to be found not far from your current location. After fighting in the warehouse, you revive an old generator, take an elevator that overlooks the entrance to the secret vault. Here, two super mutants activate turrets that you must destroy. You then use the key card to open the door of the armored shelter and enter. During a battle with the mutant general, you are knocked unconscious and left for dead. With the help of human residents of the vault, you are then revived and enter the ruins of the vault in search of the mutant general. When you find him, he is mutated into a blob. You then fight through that blob and gain access to a computer terminal that can start the decontamination of the vault, and then you run like a Kenyan for your life to a monorail car, narrowly escaping the vault in its self-destruction sequence. Fallout 3 Fallout 3 was released on October 28, 2008 in North America, on October 31, 2008 in Europe, and on December 4, 2008 in Japan. It is available on the PC, Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3. The game takes place in the year 2277, so realize that is 200 years after the Great War. It takes place on the east coast of what used to be the United States, mostly in Washington, D.C., Southwest Maryland, Western Pennsylvania, and Northeast Virginia. The gameplay features include real-time combat and the first or third-person perspective. During the intro to this game, we are introduced to your character's parents, James, the father, and his wife, Catherine, 
who dies shortly after childbirth. The main quest starts when you are forced to flee Vault 101 because the Overseer wants you dead due to your father leaving the vault and thus leaving you as a suspect to conspiracy. The Overseer is a real asshole in this game. Not a big fan of this guy. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Gods, help me! You spend your time wandering the way searching for your father in an attempt to understand why he left and what he is trying to achieve. There are many locations in this game, extensive DLC, and fantastic revisitable gameplay, guys. This game has earned a place in many players' top ten lists, mine included. Fallout New Vegas Fallout New Vegas was developed by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Bethesda Softworks. While New Vegas is not a direct sequel, it does use the same engine and style as Fallout 3 and was developed by a few of the employees who worked on previous Fallout games at Black Isle Studios. The project was led by J.E. Sawyer, one of the lead designers of Van Buren, which was the cancelled Fallout 3 project by Black Isle Studios. John R. Gonzalez was the lead creative designer, while Obsidian founder Chris Avalone, who worked on Fallout 2 and Van Buren, was a senior designer. The story has taken some parts from the Fallout and Fallout 2 stories and is for the most part unrelated to its predecessor, Fallout 3. The game takes place in 2281, four years after the events of Fallout 3, 39 years after Fallout 2, and 120 years after the first Fallout. The New California Republic plays a major part in the game's story, being in a three-way struggle amongst the Caesar's Legion slavers and the mysterious Mr. House. The Courier, your character, was meant to deliver a package from Prim to New Vegas. However, you were intercepted by the Great Cons led by a mysterious man who shoots you and takes the package, leaving you for dead in a shallow grave. You were later found by a robot named Victor and are taken to the settlement of Good Springs where Dr. Mitchell saves your life. After the courier is given some medical tests, the player is pushed back into the open world and the quest Ain't That a Kick in the Head begins. Fallout New Vegas has a definitive ending unlike Fallout 3. The endings for Fallout New Vegas are dependent on what actions you took via quests during the game, with separate endings being shown for each major location, political faction, and recruitable companion. The gameplay system is similar to Fallout 3 gameplay, although some changes have been made, one being changes to the combat system to give the feel of a first-person shooter, including the ability to use weapon iron sight. Now, out of all of the games that I have really played, I want to let you know that Fallout is definitely one of those series of games that really sticks out in my head. I love visiting this place. And also keep in mind, guys, that this video was done before the actual release of Fallout 4. What we know of Fallout 4 right now is that it's, it takes place in Boston, Massachusetts, that's about all we really know, other than a few things about how the gameplay is going to work, building, and those kinds of things. It'll be the first one to uh, allow building of your own home or settlements and things like that. There's going to be a lot of firsts in that game, so I apologize for not really including that in this. It's just we don't really know exactly what Fallout 4 has in, in store for us, and I am so excited, just like you. I know you're excited for Fallout 4. Otherwise, you wouldn't have stumbled across this video, and if this is the kind of video that you like to see, if this is the kind of video that you would like to see more of, I'm sure you're going to love the videos that are on my channel, so please, guys, make sure to get over there and check that out. Subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, if I taught you something that you didn't know, give me a like. Let me know you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. What's your favorite Fallout game? I want to know. I love it when you guys leave me comments. I love you so much, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.